Do you know a question I get asked a lot? It's how long should you wait for a guy to actually commit? Great question. My name is Stacy Speller. I'm a relationship expert for ambitious women, and I am here to help you with all your relationship challenges. So this question I get asked a lot, and here's my response. It depends. I know, right? You wanted more, but I'm gonna give you some tips Three things to ask yourself that will really help guide, have you waited too long? And this is really important for ambitious women like us. I know because I've been there. I'm incredibly ambitious, which tends to make me impatient. So some of you are looking at your watch right now and saying, Boaz is late. Where is he? But three things to really think about as you start thinking about how long you should wait. Now, one of the things I want you to recognize is some guys are just non-committal that no matter how long you wait, it doesn't matter. In fact, I did a video, how to recognize a non-committal guy. I suggest that you actually go back and watch that because there's three red flags you can look for. And if he's non-committal, it doesn't matter. You could wait till Jesus comes and he's not gonna ever commit. But on average, how long should you wait? Now, here's some caveats that I wanna give you. Impatience is always gonna give birth to your problem. So you don't wanna be impatient but you also don't want to end up being a terminal girlfriend. And that's what I call that girlfriend. I've been that girl who just waits and waits and waits, hoping, change, hoping, praying, wishing that it's going to be different. And it never is. And I need you to recognize that love is not a test of endurance. Where the last woman standing wins the prize. Where if you can just hang in there and hang in there in three years, five years, seven years, nine years. And then one day, out of the clear blue, he's just going to wake up and say, you know what? I want to commit. I'm ready to marry her. I'm ready to get committed to her. That's not how it works, okay? So here's the three things that I need you to think about. What? Three things. What is going on in his life? Because depending on what season he's in in his life, he may be finishing grad school. He may be in medical school. You know, he may be in a position where he's really working towards something. So what's going on in his life? Because if any of those things exist, clearly you want to be willing to wait because it's just not the time to think about getting into a committed relationship. So what's going on in his life? that he's saying he doesn't want to commit. Now, here's some things that could be going on that we don't we don't even begin to entertain away for. He's waiting to get divorced. Well, give me a call back when that divorce is final. If he's waiting because he's in a complicated relationship with somebody else, we don't wait for that kind of thing. So what he's waiting for needs to be legitimate, it needs to be credible, it needs to be aligned with your faith, your values, and all those kinds of things, okay? The second thing is when, when is he going to be ready? And that doesn't mean you have to jam him up and pressure him. It's like, okay, I need a day at time, a minute hour. Not that, but when, because that opened in, we don't wait for open-ended. Like, I don't know, you know, there's nothing significant going on in his life. So the what is not an issue. You know, we don't have this open-ended, I'm just going to wait forever. And he can't tell you, it's like, I don't know, I'm just not ready. Or I'll know when I'm ready. Or, you know, just that open-ended. But if he can say, okay, well, you know, right now I'm on my grind and I'm saving because I'm buying a house and I don't want to get into a committed relationship until I get that done. Or, you know, I don't want to get that done because, you know, I'm in the middle of doing something that's really significant, but he can give some kind of date. And again, a date is not an exact date on a calendar, but you know, I want to see where things are in six months or things like that. So when would he be willing to commit? Okay. And then the third thing is the why. Why is he saying he doesn't want to be in a committed relationship? Because that why is significant. If he doesn't know why or if his why is based on baggage, like, well, I had a girl and I got committed and it didn't work out well. So what does that mean? You're just going to keep me strung along for the next 20 years while you figure it out? Absolutely not. So what is his why when he says things like, oh, I don't want a relationship or I'm not ready for a relationship? What does that look like? What does that mean? So get some clarity on that what, that when, and that why. And once you have that kind of clarity, 
then you're in a much better position to make an informed decision. And that decision making becomes huge because that's one of the things that'll cause you to sabotage your love life when you don't have good decision making, when your decision making, your love life decision making is not really sharp, really good, really crisp, really discerning. In fact, if that's something you struggle with, I have a free guide. You can get it. It's uh, contained within this video, but you can also get it if you go to my website and I'll make sure there's a link here. So be sure to one, subscribe to my YouTube channel. You always want to be subscribed. So when I do a new video, you can get it. And if you did not see the how to recognize that non-committal man, be sure to go back and take a look at that because that'll give you the red flags to look at if he is that non-committal guy. Okay. Love to hear from you. Always available on social media. You can email me. Let me know what you think or leave me a comment right here. Okay, talk soon.